Hi, I'm Mark Cranenberg and welcome back to Greenmark Builders TV. Today we're going to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, trim. When you install a pre-hung door, you'll notice that each jam, the left and the right side, are both the exact same length. What we do is we measure our length. This one's 81 and a, and a quarter. We double check the other side, which is also 81 and a quarter to the top of the little bead. And that's the number we cut all our left and rights at. So what I like to do is write it down on the first door. The type of trim we're using here is a MDF. The reason we like MDF is because there's no knots and it has minimal shrinkage and you don't see any finger jointed lines. Now what we're doing is we're marking our 81 and a quarter. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp. I always put a swoosh on the side of the line that you want to cut at. Now remember kids, you gotta wear your safety glasses. What I do is I take it one step further. I call it the green mark step. I make this look good. Never bring your hand closer than four inches to your cutting blade. Bring your saw down. and plug it in. I also can't stress more the importance of great tools. Great tools with great workmanship and great attention to detail gives you a great product. So now that I'm trimming the door, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my 18 gauge nailer instead of my 16 gauge because it does a little cleaner job on the trim and it tends to not blow out as much and protects the profile of the trim. What we do is we hit the top of the that little lip at the top of the door right there. Start with a nail there. Work it. Usually I put about, let's see here, put eight nails on the side. Then your right piece, do the same thing. You bring it just to the top of that lip. One nail. Top of the door, 39 and an eighth. Sorry, measurement top of the door, 39 and 3 eighths. I'm going to cut my top piece. What I do is I start by cutting the first angle. And you mark the edge where you're cutting against your saw to 45 degrees. Oh. So once you've dry fitted your piece and everything's good, what I do is I put a bead of glue in, flatten it out with your finger. The other side to the molding, flatten it out with your finger, a little bit of extra and on top of the molding. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Once you've nailed your whole jam all the way around and your joints are tight, you've nailed your corners together so that it moves as a unit, then you go around, the gap on your door looks good, you go around, you nail the outside of your trim. Beautiful. And that's how you trim a door. Thanks for checking out my blog. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you next time on Greenmark Builders TV. Okay. Look, and then be yeah. like, I make this look good. Yeah. Okay? I can't help it. I make it look good. Okay.